William Herschel accidentally discovers the planet Uranus. We knew about Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn. There it stood right. for like millennia. He discovers Uranus. It's, it's a beautiful paper. Nobody had ever discovered a planet because all these planets were like known to the ancients. They're all visible in the night sky to everybody. Caveman right. knew about the, pl the planets. Right. Okay. Anybody freaks out because, oh my gosh, there's more than five there's planets. Five. All right. This is late 1700s and he's Brit. So, of course, he named it after his benefactor who was the, oh, the king. The king. Yeah. King. Which king? Uh, the, George. Of our Declaration of Independence. That's right. Ultimately, clearer heads would prevail. And it was renamed from George to Uranus. Uranus. Yeah, Uranus. 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 Okay. Which, by the way, is a much better name. Than George. Than George. <laughs> okay. And even better than Uranus. So we're watching Uranus. Right. And we're getting a segment of its orbit because it's far out. It's not moving very fast. Right. These things take a long time to go around the sun. Even though we only had a small segment, we said, hey, its path is not following Newton's laws of motion mm. and gravity. Mm. So someone suggested maybe we finally found the limit of Newton's laws in the universe. Newton, you maybe, you dumb, dope. You dumbass. Dumbass <laughs> Newton. Should have known. No, no, maybe they only apply to like Earth and the moon and Earth and the sun and right. inner planets and the sun. That could have been. Then someone said, maybe Newton's laws do apply, but there's another planet out there we've yet to discover whose gravity we have, have yet to reconcile in these equations. Which is, if you just discovered one planet, maybe, maybe there's another maybe one. Because that cracked open the egg. The planet egg, right? right? 